Yo, before we start this video, all I want to say is uh, to subscribe, like the video, and turn on that bell notification. And remember to click all, because if you don't click all, then you will not be notified when I post a video. Other than that, tell me what y'all think about this video and if it helped you with something that you didn't know. Uh, but other than that, let's get started. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? So today we're going to be talking about five mistakes that I think we all do at one time or mistakes that you be doing and you don't know. So the fuck? So we're going to be starting out with number one. Number one will be us trying to like wall jump at dumb situations. For example, if you're getting chased then wall jumping could save you. But if you're running, like let's say, um, if you're running in the open field and you're getting shot at, do not wall jump. Wall jump only if the enemy is chasing you nearby because then that will throw their aim off. But if you wall jump for like, if they're like shooting you mid range, you could get laid because by the time when you wall jump and they hit you with a bullet, it will slow you down. So basically, you will literally get a dead slide if they're shooting you from mid-range. So that is one thing that you should not be doing. Wall jumping if they're shooting at you mid-range. Like you see in this Spitfire shot, like if you wall jumped from that far, you would be completely fine. But more closer to, for example, like where my, um, where my lifeline, like if my lifeline was more closer like from here to the like that tree and you watch up you will get beamed because you will be getting dead slides because of the bullet when it slows you down and you get slowed down by any gun it's not just heavy ammo any gun all right number two uh rezzing like overthinking about rezzing your teammate if you rez your teammate uh, if you start rezzing your teammate and you hear no footsteps and you like and like for example the person's on the second or or, or third floor don't stop the res just because you hear footsteps coming near you continue the res only res if they're you're in a safe spot for example behind a door and they're inside the building hit the res um if you're under them like and they're like two stories up then hit the res don't hesitate to hit the res because that res could literally help you a lot when that um last fight i be seeing a lot of people hit the res and just because they hear footsteps they stop rezzing you and then they have like a lot more time to res you than they thought and then they all gonna hit the res again and then that's when they die because the other dude's already on his way um but yeah hit don't hesitate to hit reses hit them bro and also before you res your teammate angle yourself so you can see at an opening like at any opening so you can like see um if they're coming through like a door like angle yourself towards the door if you like see them you can instantly stop resing if you see them so yeah that's also a thing number three will be um reloading like sometimes you like like a crouch batman right and you're like right in front of your teammate you're playing his shield and you know when you your clip finishes um you're like fuck i can't reload because it's gonna make me res my teammate just click the shoot trigger click the shoot trigger and your gun will begin to reload again so don't like run away from your teammate stay on your teammate you know crouch bam and all that stuff and you don't have to press square or whatever interaction button you have just press the trigger you used to shoot with and it'll reload your gun as well Cause sometimes you know you be like fighting and like your instant is like instantly is to like you know reload after your clip is done or if and if your other gun is also empty you know it's just to like reload but since square is like to res you're gonna be fucked because you won't be able to reload unless you move away so just press the trigger to reload your gun that also is a good thing all right number four will be um 
leave landing with with your squad in the same like landing in the same building with your squad because if you have people near you and you land in the same building with your squad you guys will not be cut not be cutting um the other enemies loot which means that they could get better loot than you so try to like land separate but like close to your teammate on different buildings so you all are like stacked with loot all right and last one is ping armor ping shields ping ammo ping all that shit for your teammates because if you don't and they need something then they will not have it and that could win the fight for example if you have great armor and you see um if your teammate has gray armor and you see a blue armor and you just look at it and just walk past it but you know your teammate needs it and you think he's gonna see it but some people just go to like the opposite direction because you know you already looted there so ping the item because i be seeing a lot of people run past purple armor when i have blue armor and they expect me to go to that place that they went to go loot but i will not because i will be saying oh he already looted that place there might be nothing there so ping armor and ping attachments that you think your teammates will need. And I'm gonna give y'all one one bonus uh, one bonus one. If y'all play on hold for crouching, take it off now. Because if you don't take it off, you're literally just ducking, not even going up and down. You're just like you're just like staying in one position, which is ducking, and your movement will be slow. So switch the hold because that will really help you and highly recommend you learn how to bunny hop you can go look at my video on how to bunny hop in 10 minutes but yeah those are the top five mistakes i see people be doing actually i'm gonna add one more because i'm gonna be nice for your bag what you want to do this is what i do for all my bags i have my first top row with ammo only i split the ammo in between for my gun and then the whole bottom layer is for um, bats, syringes, and um, and shield cells and, and phoenix. But I'll make a video on how to organize your bag the correct way. But other than that, that's all I really have for this video. Y'all can um, continue watching this um, arena. Tell me if you like arena or if you like um, battle royale content more or gameplay. But yeah, I hope y'all like this. I did get pissed because they were using Spitfire, so I also pulled out a Spitfire. I almost dropped 4K, I think, in this in this um, gameplay. But yeah, thanks for watching. Peace. Oh yeah, I did say that I was gonna end the video there, but um, I just remember something about this gameplay. Um, about the thinking, um, overthinking about resing. Stay until the end of the video if you really want to see what I mean by that. If you like want to see like a better idea just stay until like the end of the video like near the end and you'll see what i mean by um overthinking when you're resin
So this is the part where I'm talking about where my teammate was overthinking about resing me. You'll see after he pops the shield back. He's literally overthinking. He's like, should I res him or not? He's like looking around and stuff. Doesn't know what the hell to do. But then he decides to res me, right? And then you see, you hear like one little footstep. And he stops resing me, which was literally just to do knocked. That was literally what he heard. And then he starts hitting me again. But it was almost way too late because the dude already rezzed the other dude. He already rezzed the lifeline. And I don't know why he was trying to do his finisher. But yeah, the Pathfinder had already rezzed the lifeline. So that almost cost the game. And I didn't know. I thought they had a self res, But I was being dumb. There's obviously no self res in arenas. But yeah, lifeline was hard pre-firing with a spitfire. And ends up like getting, like getting laid by me. That's also something you should not do. Pre-fire. Like, if you see that he's not, like, you're pre-firing for, like, two seconds, then stop the pre-fire. That's what happened with the lifeline. She pre-fired for, like, more than five seconds, and I knew. Other than that, peace.